Hey guys, Barbara here. I'm here today with a very fun video. I'm gonna show you guys how to make five different recipes or menus from scratch using your waffle iron or your waffle maker. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. For the first two recipes, I'm going to show you guys how to make an omelet and some hash browns. I've washed and peeled two large potatoes and I'm just using the large side of the cheese grater to get this all shredded. Now let me go ahead and squeeze all the liquid or the water out of the potatoes. And then to this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of egg whites and a tablespoon of milk. And I'm using egg whites from an egg, not from a box, okay? So here we go. Just let me go ahead and get this stirred in and then a dash of salt or you can add the salt after it's cooked all right so what i do is spoon a tablespoon of melted butter into each pocket of the waffle iron on the bottom part and then just brush the butter onto the top part okay now this is the type of waffle iron that you flip over so you can know when it's done it'll say ready we're not going to flip the potatoes okay because they're too thick we're just going to close the lid set a timer for 15 minutes 15 minutes later this is what we have crispy and beautiful Oh my goodness, I'm not going to do hash brown any other way from here on in, okay? So now you can serve this with a side of ketchup if that's what you like, or you can do it with breakfast stuff like eggs. So this is the next one that I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to make an omelet in the waffle iron or the waffle maker, okay? I'm going to use that same egg that I got the egg white from, and to this, I'm adding another egg. So basically two eggs. You can add whatever you like to your omelet. But I'm adding tomatoes, jalapenos, spinach, and onions. And I almost added too much of the chunks, but it's okay. So I've greased the waffle iron. Just let me go ahead and pour all this in here. And for this one, you can actually flip the waffle iron after you close it, okay? Because it's flexible enough and thin enough. So flip it, and then when it says ready, you open it up. And here you have your beautiful omelet to go with your hash browns, guys. Isn't this gorgeous? I used to do a series here at the site that was called Dorm Room Meals. As I'm doing the stuff right now in the waffle maker, my mind keeps going back to that series. So I think I might put this video in that playlist. So if you're in the dorm rooms right now and somebody gave you a waffle maker and you're not sure what you're gonna make with that because you don't even really like waffles, look at this video, guys. We're doing five recipes and fun ones. I've lavishly buttered these two pieces of bread and we're gonna make somewhat of a grilled cheese. I'm putting salami, then some grated cheese. Now let me just go ahead and put the top on. I've greased the waffle iron, put it in, and if it doesn't close right away, don't worry, okay? Use a cloth later. Don't push on the handle because you'll break it. So here it is. It's done, it's still hot, and I made another one with sourdough bread, and I can't wait to dive in. The final two recipes are gonna be desserts. I'm gonna show you guys how to make an oatmeal cookie and some brownies. A third cup baking cocoa sifted, one cup of sugar, half cup of flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and whisk. Let's work on the wet ingredients. To this measuring cup, I've added two eggs, and let me just go ahead and give this a whisk. And then next, a half a cup of vegetable oil and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Are we having fun yet, guys? Let me add the wet into the dry and give this a whisk. And when it's all combined into a batter, I'm going to go ahead and pour it back into the same measuring cup for easy pouring, okay? So the waffle iron is hot and greased, and I'm just going to put half the batter. And in one cycle of the waffle iron, it's done. Don't let it go twice because it'll burn, all right? So let me go ahead and get this one out, and I have enough batter to make one more just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and use it all up. And you can eat the waffle brownies plain or a la mode like this, okay? Beautiful. Now let me work on a healthy cookie for you guys. This is paleo or wheat belly. I'm going to start off with one ripe banana. To this, just let me go ahead and add an egg. And just kind of give this a stir with a fork here. And I'm having a lot of fun today. It's a lot of work to do all five recipes in one day, but I'm having fun. Two tablespoons of sugar. You can add less sugar if you'd like. Two tablespoons of raisin and only one cup of oats. And it's the instant stuff, okay? It's not the one with the big flakes. A teaspoon of cinnamon. Give this a stir. And the waffle iron is greased and heated. And you could put it in globs or you can spread it out like a waffle. But this is what I want to do today is spread it like a waffle. 
And then in one cycle of the waffle iron, it's going to be done. Get it out because your raisins are going to burn. And this is so awesome. This is like the best one of all the recipes that I like so far, all right? So take a look at them again. The hash browns, the omelette, the brownies, the um, cookie, and of course, the grilled cheese sandwich. I'm sure that you guys have seen a lot of these type of videos all over the internet. So when I decided to make my own, I was going to do it as a review of the waffle iron or the waffle maker. And then I realized that pretty much, even though these equipment, this equipment comes from different manufacturers and some of them are shaped differently, they're pretty much the same. They're nonstick, they cook things or heat things up. And so that's when I decided I wanted to work on the recipes more because I've seen a lot of hash brown recipes around in the waffle maker, but um, they're, they're still kind of limp. So I wanted my hash browns to hold together and I wanted them to be really, really crunchy. So I had to work on the recipes. And of course, I'm not gonna open brownies from a box. You know me over here. I try to do everything from scratch as much as I can. So I hope you guys had fun with this. I hope it's stuff that you can try in the future. You don't have to go dirty a whole bunch of stuff to just get up and make a quick dessert like the brownies or the cookies. And of course, um, I really like the omelets. Joe doesn't really like the omelets in it. He doesn't like the shape of it and stuff, but I love it. And I do it sometimes when he's not eating any eggs for breakfast. I'll just make that for myself and I'm good to go. Um, in the future, we'll revisit this type of video and make some more fun stuff, okay? I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up for me. Please share it because your shares have been helping the channel grow so much. I really appreciate it. I look forward to your comments. Check out my website to pick up the stuff that I'm selling. And I love you guys for all your love and support. Until I see you guys again, take care. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please check out my other channels, the Product Review channel, my family vlogs, and Joe's channel. You can find all the links in the description box below.